How about them tops, son? All day, SEC boys. You're listening to the Red Out Podcast. Welcome into another Red Out Podcast. I'm Jake. Hey, Devin in the house, and we are solo. Just the two of us. Crickets. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. And I didn't have any singing lessons, so... You know what? I, that's that's <laughs> so bad that I don't think you could have sang the whole song and we would have got a copyright strike on YouTube. Nope, 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 because it was bad. I can't say anything about it because I, I definitely cannot sing. Like, no. I love to sing. As my father-in-law told me one time, the uh, my mama gave me money for singing lessons and I spent it on bubblegum. Yeah, for, for sure. That's like, I don't know where that was going to go. Yeah. What we were going to spend that money on? Yeah. Could have no. been a lot worse. Bubblegum. Yeah, Bubble that's gum. what I'm going to stick with. Yeah. Uh, so, winners and losers. Virginia. Devin is so <laughs> sad that a nice guy won the national uh, championship. It has for nothing once. to do with nice. It's not like I wanted Rick to win, okay? I just, in my opinion, <laughs> I'm just saying I, Virginia is a boring thing. In its entirety, it's so boring. But you know what's they great? They had an exciting game. Yes, but not yes, a, yes, here's yes. so so little little, little stat to throw at you. <sighs> they Devin has put on sunglasses and is going to go to sleep, and yep. I don't even care because those of you that are paying attention <laughs> understand that this year y'all just Virgin- missed a thirty minute argument we had about Michael Jordan being the greatest. So. And how I think it's totally a media based thing. And, and I can't told give Jake the, we should have recorded it, but we anyway. should have. We'll do it later. Yeah. That'll, that'll be that'll be a summer topic because we ain't no. got nothing to talk about. <laughs> but Virginia actually this year. L- was one of the leaders in the country in scoring margin. Like, beating the crap out of teams. They beat, like, seven ACC teams by 20 points or more. Because they got spanked by NBC or whatever they are. UMBC? UMBC, that's what I meant. How does it have to do with them playing good this season? Because it was motivational. Because they were You got knocked out of the first round of the Dude, tournament. Dude, that's going to be a 30 for 30. Yeah, it'll have to be. Because that's pretty sweet. They got knocked sweet. out, went home, sat on their boo-hoos and cried, and, blah, and then they came back when they started practice, and the coach basically... What I would have done was just put that score up, and just, when you walked out, you just put, and a, been you like, just put yes. a retriever over the yes. door. <laughs> that's what, I mean, I just put the numbers. UMBC, whatever, Virginia, this. And that's what I would have put up Oh, the dude, door. it was the and most... I've been like, every time you leave, you look at that number, and you remember how you felt. That was the most epic crap-the-bed moment yes. of college basketball history. Yes, but... But I'm glad they won. It's about, it's about time Tony Bennett got a championship. Theoretically, I know we had this argument a couple weeks ago. Which one? But... Let's say last year, not this past tournament, but the one before, if Virginia went to the second round, if they did, yeah, and then this year they just crapped the bed and didn't go anywhere, would you rather have a first round loss to a one in sixteen, which never happened, or a second round loss and then you don't? Do oh, anything? if I'm a Virginia fan, yes. Oh, dude, as I said, I will, I will stick with this. Yeah, you're gonna see a championship banner, yeah. right? And you're gonna see that Tony Bennett got one and whatever. Yeah. Tony Bennett's only in his early fifties. Yeah. They have the money and the program, regardless of them crap in the bed that these last few years, to where I, honest to God, think Tony Bennett will. I think he will get more than one championship. You know, okay, okay. I think he will. Thus, I do not think like between. Let's say that Virginia gets two championships versus this one, right? Mm-hmm. I. But if you can give me just the one national championship and not be in the first number one seed to ever lose yeah. to a sixteen seed. I'll take the one championship versus two all day because no one's going to remember yeah. in 20 years that it'll Virginia... Be a, it'll be a footnote. It's, yeah, well, they'll remember the 16-seat upset. That's yeah. always going to be there. Yeah. That's always going to hang over their head. It's always going to look bad. But the victory of like a national championship... Now, granted, a little bit better. Yeah. This year... Excuse me. They actually, it's like it's like I said, it's going to be thirty for thirty, right? Yeah. The, the, from the from the lowest depths be. to the height. Yeah. So that's going to be remembered. So yeah. it might be ba- packaged together. But if you told me, Jake, I'll guarantee you the first ever one seed to lose to a sixteen, but I promise you'll get a national championship out of it. I'd be like, mm, I'll probably just wait for yeah. him to get one organically. <laughs> now, if you told me that, no, 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 that is the only way. Yeah, you will get a national championship. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. All I'll right. take that because because then you okay you, you crack the bed. Yeah, million dollars, you shoot the puppy, or you just right. I, sh- yeah. I shoot the puppy. It's yeah. fine. Which yeah. granted, I would totally. We shoot would the never puppy, shoot puppies, but go ahead. Uh, I was about to say you could line them up. <laughs> like I love animals. I do. I've no. got a cat. There's two dogs in here. I wouldn't shoot your dogs for a million dollars unless you unless you want me to split it with you. No. Case, now. <laughs> I do have guns within reach. Just but so what, what, what about what about like when they're real old and we're going to euthanize them? 
Oh, I guess I'd wait till that day and then be like, and that's what I'm okay, saying. Give you, give them, you give them the, the bacon cheeseburgers oh, yeah, and like yeah, the yeah. go to the park yeah. and like maybe you give them some edibles because that'll be a few years from now. <laughs> and then, you know, you take them out back and you put them on. Yeah. Yeah, and then oh, you yeah. get a million dollars out of it. That's, yeah. that's a super We're not promoting animal cruelty by You should means. never shoot an animal unless your life is on, or someone you care about is on the line and then you should only shoot the wound. I'm just saying. Yeah, Unless sure. it's a varmint. Yeah, all, varmints, sure, whatever. all varmints must die. Well, all varmints... Yeah, but, okay, we're not going to get into that because <laughs> I can debate what a varmint is. Uh, so everything I don't like is a varmint. Yes, Virginia won. They beat Texas Tech in overtime. Yay, Virginia! But hey, Chris Beard's um, good, dude. Texas Tech hey, will be back. I actually think that yeah, Texas Tech will be back. Um, They're real good. I think I, it wouldn't surprise me if Virginia was in another national championship in the next five years at some point. Yeah, it's I a, think it's feasible. Good, good program. He's a good coach. You know, as long as he's there, I think they have a chance. Um, of course, you have the wild cards, Kentucky and Duke, who every year have something they else got, coming they, in. Well, so. they have a shot. Yeah, they're they always going to have a shot. Um, so, baseball softball update. Yeah. This is uh, phoned in by Ross. Straight from the real, real Ross. Yes. Uh, baseball swept against a bad MTSU team in Murfreesboro, straight biddies. Yeah, uh, pitching that was a disaster. Not good. Pitching is a disaster. Yeah, it is. Uh, wow against Belmont, 8-7. to seven. Yesterday to get back to 500. Yeah, which is good. So they're back at 500, but they still can't pitch. Uh, bats are legit, but pitching will hold team back. Uh, softball, they lost three or four over the last week, including two heartbreakers to Marshall. Yeah. Uh, team should be okay, but pitching showed a chink in armor after a great start. So, Yeah, it does kind of sink like... They're so far ahead at this point yeah. that hopefully they can maintain this softball, right? Baseball is nowhere near. No, 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 no. Though in conference, they're still not the worst because they no. were like 7-1 in conference. So losing two to... Still not happy about losing a bunch to middle. You never want to lose No, middle. never. I don't want to lose the middle. middle in anything. I, I don't want to lose the middle. And Marshall's, to my chagrin, I do not want to lose to Marshall either. I don't either, man. Just go I eat mean, your chicken nuggets and enjoy yeah. And I will never let that joke die. <laughs> what? Ever. The what? Jamie Oliver chicken nuggets. Yes. Award. I'll yes. never let that die. <laughs> I don't care. I'll be 87 years old making it. Jamie Oliver will be a distant memory. That yes. television's clip will not exist. Yes. Except in the deepest archives yeah, of YouTube. Of YouTube. Yes. Yeah, but by God, I will not let it die. Insert Indiana Jones and the uh, Raiders of the Lost oh, Ark. Never let it die. <laughs> never. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just picturing you, old man in the nursing home, and there's chicken nuggets sitting on the thing, and you just start giggling. Oh, dude, for like, sure. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with He's old crazy. man Keith? He's crazy <laughs> He's as a loon. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so, bad news. Yeah, right. Um... It's not a super duper happy news podcast. No, but it's okay. I mean, we it's middle. It's, it's going to happen. It does. It does. Um, happen. And of course, we've got Matt Horton transferring. Yep. Um, at this point, it's unknown, right, for him where he's going. Yeah, I don't think either him uh, nor uh, Banton, who we found out, has also put his name in the transfer portal. I don't think we know where they're going. Essentially. I didn't read Banton's release. I read Horton's because um, I had a second, yes. and it just talks about how I want to thank everybody, which is good. He's a, he's a nice kid. That's that's good. That's yeah, right. it's yeah. his choice to go sit and play. Totally cool. Um, but he was like, I'm reopening my recruitment, which means now he's in the transfer portal. Have to sit a year because um, I don't think he's because he was a red shirt. Which I like wish him. they would change that rule to sit out a year. Yeah, just let the kids go and play the next year wherever it's. I don't care. Yeah, I don't. I honestly don't get the naysayer like doomsday people. They said that with the grad transfer rule, it hasn't really done that. No, I mean I think it might increase transfers a little bit on the kids because there isn't they an should. incentive not to. They but, should. They should be able to go. Yeah, I mean if a coach either can, get can't the, the education, kids? yeah. If the coach does it, why not the kids? And, I mean, they go get their education, whatever school they want yeah. to, you know. If you can go play, go play, man. If you, Yeah, exactly. And if, incidentally, it hurts a couple schools along the way. I mean, even when it hurts, like, I'll be mad if something like that would hurt Western. I mean, it would hurt Western. Yeah, it would be the, totally. Yeah, yeah. but at the same time, like, is it objectively probably right for the sport? I think so, probably. Yeah, it's probably I mean, objectively the right thing to do. My thing is, if a kid goes from P5 and doesn't play mm-hmm. to a mid-major, I don't think he should be punished or anything as far as making him sit out a year. And if a kid goes from a mid-major to a power five, same thing. Yeah. I don't care. If they get you know if they get scholarship there, go for it. Yeah. You know, if a kid <laughs> left UK and went to Western, I'd be fine with it. If a yeah, kid no. went to, from Western to UK, I'd be fine with it. I'd be mad, but... Well, you I would, would be I would, mad, but I, would, I wouldn't care. I, I, I would accept that it was his decision. And yeah. I, I wouldn't mean, hate the kid. I'd just be no. like, ah, crap. You know? Well, I mean, and that's the thing. You know, even kids going to the NBA. Um... Which yeah. we haven't heard anything about Bassey, but you know, if some of these kids want to go he's try got, and if they try he's got to two days. 
Yeah, he's got two days, which I'm two days away. Just saying. Dude, two for, days for, away. For, like, <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys, if you saw what Matt said on Twitter, but he no. was like, he said earlier days, like, seriously though, at Red Out, if Bassy or at Twitter, if, uh, and he tagged Bassy too, if at, you know, CB123 stays at WKU, <laughs> Red Out deserves a verified check mark. Hashtag, I was like, dude, seriously though, we will have a reactionary celebratory podcast. Yes. If that's the case, because that would be absolutely I need to, wild. I do need to type up an article on that just to just in case just, to hit I submit. told you so. Just <laughs> yeah, um, I told you so. Boom. That's because we're just so we're just so close. I mean, yeah, me Devin, and Charles are just so Devin close. Is, Devin is, is tight <laughs> with Sir Charles. Tight. Yes. Um, yeah, well, you know, best of luck to these guys. Um, but my get, thing is yeah. with Horton transferring, it makes me think that Bassie's staying. Maybe or. Or, like we were talking about earlier, um, Isaiah Cozart. Cozart is going to come in, and he's afraid he'll take his minutes, too. Yeah, it's one of those things where I don't know if he wants to compete with... He knows he's been recruited over in Cozart. I mean, I know people have gotten listed that he's kind of a split four or five, but he definitely would seem, you know, if, we, if we're lacking at a position, it's point guard and center, uh, as far as, like, minutes to go. Because mm-hmm. we're going to have Isaiah Cozart. Maybe Charles Bassey, but we don't have a lot of talented. Yeah. So we got bodies. Yes, we got Moo. We got Tolu Smith, who I'm really excited to see his growth. But yes. it'd be real nice to have again. I like that. If you want to be able to, to give guys minutes now, this year we saw that if you're not willing to, you know, put the numbers out, you weren't going to get a lot of playing time, which kind of gets us into our next guy. Like honestly, Horton at the end of the day. I don't think it's a major strike. I again, it's always going to hurt depth, which is not going to make me happy, but. He, I mean, what did he play this year? Like four minutes a game? Yeah. He or averaged he, played, like four, he averaged four minutes a four game. Four minutes a game, okay. Uh, not, he played in ten total games. So Yeah, so that's not even that much. That's a, no. not even a and third of the full season. I don't blame him for that. No, yeah, if you're not getting playing time, time he's and, not you're, and you're being recruited over, yes. dude, go... Go, go forth, go, be happy. Yeah, seriously, go get another scholarship, go go play ball somewhere. Was he, he wasn't one of those that got in trouble at Kentucky Street, was he? Okay. No. Nope. That sucks. That, no, that, was him, all, but... that was all starters. Yeah, I know. And I, I mean, that's the thing, too. Except for Murray, who's left. He yes. got booted. Uh, but no, it, what, get, what makes me sad is Banton, because this team does not have a true point. Yes. Um, I know everybody, I, two, here's two things we're going to hear in the comments. One, Oh, uh, Omer, it's point guard. Start Omer, it's point guard. Okay, well, then he needs to get a little taller, a little faster, and play defense yeah. first. Yeah. Um, and I'm not saying he can't. Well, he probably can't get taller. But he could get taller. It would take. A pro- it would be a process. It would take some HGH. But he gets no, 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 no. <laughs> There's a process where you can break your legs, oh, and then they what they do the is they plate. splint them. Well, they splint them so that the bone is just like a half inch apart, and, and then it'll grow together. together. And then they'll do what they do is they break it again, and then they do it again, and then they get it another half inch apart. So then you grow a full inch right there. Oh, so you could like six one. Would that yeah. be cool? A six one no. guard. Uh, 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 yeah, that takes months. But so no, God, yeah, no. not gonna happen there. And they're gonna be like, oh, we got Tay, we got Tay. As I have said, and will continue to say, Tay is my favorite player. One because he used to wear number thirteen, which is my favorite number, and two, the dude is an absolute machine in state product, and that's like my favorite thing. <laughs> But we saw this year when when Bearden had to sit out. We yeah. tried. We tried J A point. He's a little too out of control. Yeah. Uh, just a little too much of a of an attack mentality, which we love at the two and the three. Yeah. Dog, keep eating. Uh, but Tay also very much a score first sort of. Maybe he develops point guard over yeah. the you know off season. That's not out of the question. Now is that just player mentality or was that coached? Is what I'm wondering. I yeah, mean, it is stands telling them. I you know, don't think ones so. Ones be aggressive. I mean, I think there's an, like between Josh Anderson, Charles Bassey, um, and even early on in the season, Deshaun Murray and Merrick Nelson. Like we had enough attack dogs at other positions where you need the point guard to run the floor. You need him yeah. to facilitate. Yeah. Um, and Tay kind of lacked at that. He yeah. just and I don't, which I don't understand because he did okay. Like. Not running the point his freshman year, but like having good vision. Yeah. And then I don't know, maybe it's sophomore slump. Maybe it's he feels the weight of the team on him a little more because he's yeah, older. I he can see that. Say, so okay, whatever. But I just don't think those two guys are long term answers at the point. Whereas, you know, Banton was a young guy, six six or six eight, six yeah. eight, huge kid, um, who was a true point, even though. He was a giant as far as point guards go. He was legit four inches taller than like 
the best size point guards. I mean, I guess the biggest loss, though, is we're losing a shooter that shot 100%. <laughs> Did Horton have, was, Horton was 100% How many percentage. shots did he take? Uh, I would have to. I have no idea as far as shots taken. It couldn't have been more Let than like... See. I don't know. It couldn't. Uh, Three-point attempts. Uh, nine. Okay, hold on. Points. Go back to... It, click that here. Well, yeah, okay, field goal attempts. And then click it one more he time. He has three. He went three of three. <laughs> Oh, still 100%, dude. He's you don't miss you don't miss shots you don't take. That's true. Okay? You don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to harp on it. Like I'm I'm sad to lose Banton. I really like Banton. Yeah. I think he was going to make he was going to be one of those guys like JA who made a huge leap between his freshman and sophomore yeah. season and now not having a true point guard. Now, you know what? Maybe maybe Gambrell is the answer. Uh, if you guys don't remember he was injured all last season yes. and played in a game or two. Uh, maybe I, maybe he is the answer. He was supposed to be supposed to be a n- knockout. Games, yeah. yeah, supposed to be knockout three point shooter and stupid fast. Yeah, which you know crazy fast point guard reminds you of Monte. Maybe he will be like that. Yeah, he could be, but we don't know. Yeah. So I'm gonna you know I'm sad about the transfers. I've been I'm, I'm a little angry at, at the Mr. Stands for not being able to hold on to Benton, but I will reserve judgment. Yeah. Until the class shapes up. Yeah, a little I mean, more. I think you just got to give them till what November or something. Pretty much. See. So you just look at what the early season is. Yeah. Look if we bring in that JUCO guard McNeil, or we get some other pieces together. Okay, fine. I'll I'll let it be. But if we go in this season and either Gambrell is still hurt and he's not hundred percent, or he's not the answer, and we're just cycling through point guards early on, that's going to be an indictment on not being able to to keep a point guard. I agree. Um. Of course, it's going to be like seven months from now, but... Okay, I'm going to be harping on it the whole time. <laughs> yeah. This is not going to be anything else to talk about until yeah. football. <laughs> so, uh, we do have one football thing to talk about. Yeah, it's Spring exciting. game. Dude, Woo-hoo! so excited. I know, right? This is kind of our first preview of the Tyson Hilton offense. Yeah, really it is. And, I mean, you you got to look forward to it and maybe see what our defense is going to look like. Maybe our defense isn't going to look like a tin sheet of metal that you can literally just bend and do whatever you want to with it. Yeah, it was, um, it was. It was like I'm sorry, bend but don't break is the most comical. But here's thing. the joke: if you bend all the way to the end zone, is it a slinky then at that point? Pretty much. I mean, yeah. I mean that's what it's, it's. It was like tenfold, man. It, it was, really was. I mean, you, they literally would just punch through it, wad it up, throw it away, and it was like it, oh. it was just sad to see teams just carve us up. Yeah, I mean we and. Minus our transfers and our injuries with Eli Brown and, you know, Ben Hull transferring. You know, it makes you wonder, what are we going to have? Um, so this is going to be a good time to see that come spring game. Um, for me, the biggest thing to watch for is going to be offense. Yeah, it is. I want to see what our offense, you know, quote, scheme. I want to see plays we're doing, you know, scoring attempts. But, as we talked about before the podcast, I want to see, like, how they're going to set up the scrimmage. Yeah, like, are they going to do, like they have been in uh, yes. the last couple of years, which is, like, full-on, you know, this, you know, draft this team, draft yep. this team, and they, they play each other? Yes. Or is it, like, is it the ones versus the twos? Yeah. Like, one wow. offense, two defense versus two. Something like two. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, my thing is, and that's what we were talking about before, um, kind of old man talk here. Uh, <laughs> right Matt, right there. Yeah, Matt and I will be able to just talk about this sometime. Um, football... Um, when I was at Western, we did a full draft. Everybody from the top down, film, uh, managers, trainers, coaches, everybody was drafted on one team or the other. <laughs> and so, I mean, like, everything was so serious, like, taping. Like, if you were on red team, you didn't tape people on white. And if you were vice versa. And, I mean, players would be like... You ain't touching you, me? You had plague or leprosy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was like, no, you can't tape me. And I'm like, hey, I taped you all year. It doesn't matter. You can't take me now. You can't and take me like, this game. No, no. It's like, uh, they're like, yeah, hey, why don't you put some pieces of glass in the tape? And I'm like, <laughs> no, dude, no. Why First would I off, do that to somebody? Where am I going to get the glass? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You think I just carry around a pop- pocket yeah. glass? Right. Yeah, like, yeah, I get you. Uh, but no, it's like, you know, uh, but it was a lot of fun memories. Um, and dude, I, I like that. Yes. Because that's yes. like, A, you talk it's about excitement. Ba- it's excitement. Mean, it's balance. Yes. Right? So you don't have. Every starter yes on offense, no, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like you don't have every starter on offense yeah. playing, you know, like yes. the number two. You, you don't have that, 
and then you get like a super duper kind of competitive edge. Yeah, because, if you got a good draft, yeah. Yeah, if you got a good draft, <laughs> if if you get host, yeah, yeah. Which you but can, who does? Happen. But who does the draft? Is like is like. There's usually like one or two seniors that are captains that do the draft. and they get split into red team, white team. And then they pick their guys. And then they pick the guys. And I mean, it's serious. So if like one they dude come is in, really crappy and just wants his buddies. Yeah, he could do that. I mean, like, it's literally like a draft. Like they like, come like in at like draft. five or six o'clock one night and they draft everybody. And I mean, everybody's on the board, you know, it's boom. Yeah. Fair. It's like... Like I wish I'd known because I would have went and watched. Because when they picked me, I'd have been like, "Yeah, run down there, put on my red or white hat." And, you know, <laughs> I have a starting trainer from yeah. Scottsville, Kentucky. Yes, I was. That would have been a while. Actually, my freshman year, I was first pick because I had a well, I had facial hair yeah. at the time, so they thought I was older. So they thought I was legit certified trainer. So I got picked first trainer. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Yes." Like, little do you know. <laughs> This dude, 18. Yeah, he's, he's, well, I was 19 at the 19. time, but yeah, yeah, that's, oh my gosh, so yeah. great. Um, let's now, see. for me, it's, I mean, like we said, the Tyson Helton offense, we want to see what that looks like. Like, can he, what do, what do his schemes look like? I mean, they don't get crazy in the red and white game. Yeah. I mean, they get crazy in that they'll play trick plays because it's fun, but they're oh, not, yeah. they're not going to like, they don't go all out. As They're not going to get like, somebody hurt, yeah. Well, not only that, but like, as far as play, you don't go down like way deep in the playbook, right? No. Now, granted... You'd have to, like, I know. I mean, there's going to be some trick plays. Yeah, it's going to be Because some fun. the coaches are going to. And I don't know if Helton is actually going to be coaching one team or the other or if he's just watching. Because sometimes yeah, head wonder. coaches will just watch. And you have his coordinators. And they'll let running. coordinators go. And they'll play with whatever they want to. They'll throw out trick plays. They'll do some goofy stuff. So, just Tyson, if fun. you're listening, if there are less than three. Flea flickers. <laughs> We're calling this a disappointment. Jet sweeps. Uh, That's right. Yeah, Statue of exactly. Liberty play. Statue uh, of Liberty. The little giants um, play from the Memphis Bowl. No, uh, I would actually look for uh, what's his coordinator, offensive coordinator. Was it Brian? Yeah, Brian Ellis. Brian Ellis. Yeah, uh, I, I would look for him to do some kind of goofy uh, I mean, hook and ladder I mean, flea the, flicker. He's the one who did the little giants play the Memphis game. I'm just saying, I mean, that, and it's fun to do that. Offensives love to do trick plays. Especially when they so work. Fun. Yeah, well, when they Especially work. Especially when you get 50 so yards fun. out of one yes. on national television. But it's so much fun. Yeah. It's just cool. It's like, it's like schoolyard ball. Yes, man, you, you know. used to have some fun. Which, by the way, is, is what we should be doing in a spring game. A, you're getting the first look at, at again, the scheme yes. and the squad. And yes. then two, it's a fun day. Like, okay, so if you guys look at the article on WKU Sports, they're going to have face painting. They're going to yes. have the inflatables. You yes. get snacks. Did you I say know. edibles or inflatables? Inflatables. Yes. <laughs> we are not quite Colorado yet. Though, could you imagine that red yes. white game? Yes. Everybody just be sitting there eating nachos. Yes. <laughs> so we've paid for a new side of the stadium with just taquitos <laughs> and Mountain Dew. I'm not sure. I, I, yeah, and just edibles. It yeah, was just so literally great. They, they, they had some brownies, and then they just got real hungry, and they bought... All of the snacks. I could just see, like, they give out so many edibles at the, you know, like, five or six little brownies, and then the rest of the game, everybody's just like, woo! I don't even know what's going on. It's just, old dude's taking a nap. Yes, yes. I mean, because it's like, going to be pretty, like, yeah. it's, again, but it's going to be, it's, it's supposed to be a fun weekend, so everybody should yes, go. Yes, go. the spring go, game. Go, We don't have, I mean. It's supposed to be good weather. Yeah, exactly. There's not a whole lot. You just got baseball and softball yes. really doing stuff. I don't know if they're playing that day. If so, make a full day out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because typically they play it. One of them's playing at home yeah. on the weekend most nights. I mean, nights. you can walk from baseball to football. Well, a lot of times they do that, yeah. too. They'll, like, tag team them. So, like, yeah. if baseball's got a doubleheader at night, yeah. then you go to the spring game during the day. Yes. Go get you some food down at the Chili's. Then walk back over. You never have to drive all day. And kickoff is set at 2 p.m., so. so that's perfect. Afternoon weather. It'll be great. Gosh. I don't know if you guys could I hear that. Fighting Devin that was summoning a demon. <laughs> I was literally fighting that the entire way out. Uh, let me see. If, let me see if baseball has anything. Um, I do know track may have their meet that day. Not cross country. I want track. <laughs> not cross country. Track. Now you, we you said before that like nobody want like track is boring to watch for some people. It is cross country. <laughs> yeah, cross country. Here they come. Really, and cross country is really not the sport to go watch. Because um, you literally just sit at the finish line and you're just like, where'd they go? Yeah, where'd they like, go? Yeah. I see them running around out there. I don't know where they're going. It's like um, I always laugh at because I'm a super st- huge stupid nerd. Oh yeah, uh, we always giggle at like um, 
the fourth Harry Potter book with the with the tournament. <laughs> yes. Because one of them, it's like, oh, they're fighting a dragon. This is cool, and everybody's watching. And then the second two things, it's like, hey, we're just staring at a lake for an hour. <laughs> and then the other one is you just stare at a hedge for an hour. I'm sorry, but shouldn't they put like monitors or something? You know, you would think they have visions? some kind of magical yeah. hologram. Yeah, or that something. shows what's going on underwater. No, nope, it's literally they're just, just sitting there, just going. Could you like they're cheering and then everybody dies crickets. in the lake, and then it's literally like, okay, what do we do now? Are we gonna? All the kids are like, "Okay, what are, we, what are we watching?" And then the teachers are like, "What if they just left for the hour and then they came back?" I mean, I'm not. I would only on Red Out. Can you experience Harry Potter debates, <laughs> bro? Don't even get me started. Blood, I'm serious. Uh, baseball plays at one o'clock on Saturday, which kind of sucks. I mean, you can watch some of the baseball game and then. Then you hear everybody cheering for football, and then you go up there, right? And, and then, then you come back. Because I mean, they're still be playing. Let's be real. Yeah. Uh, Come on, give me softball. Softball. Come on, you slow internet junkie thing. You know, that's the thing. I really like WKU Sports as, like, a website. Yeah. Because it looks good, but functionally, sometimes, it's not super easy to use. Yeah. It's, it's really, like, it's, like, mobile optimized. Yes. It's, like, really good on your phone. Yeah. But on a, like, desktop, it's not always the easiest. They're playing at 1 o'clock, too, on the third. So, I guess they're probably there. Are they at North Texas, or are they here? I don't know. We'll find so, out. So, yeah, we'll find out. Uh, well... Obviously, the game hasn't started yet. I guess it's at Western. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's um, so. It looks like softball's at home versus North yeah. Texas. Uh, at and one. they all start at one, except for football, who starts at two. Which, by the way, terrible scheduling, guys. Come on now. Yeah, I mean, you could at least had like a 10, 11 o'clock. You know, um, kick for the game. It's not really a kick, but I was oh, talking about softball. softball. Well, softball's an actual regular season game. You can't fiddle with it. You can fiddle know. with the spring game. Yeah, because like that's yeah, that's just you so play you yourself. Any, that, that, well, they may have, have to get with the white team and make sure it's okay with them, and then the red team has to make sure it's good with them. But yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> the players are like, hey, y'all, we playing at four. Yeah, you best be there, or that I'm going to head. That would have actually been a better game time, probably at four. Probably, yeah, because then baseball would have been done. Then you've got the entire baseball crowd, which would have been like twelve people. But everybody else would have been there, so we'll yeah, see. that's true. Well, you could have had the teams. There's, that's another. That's another good amount. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so it's basically, our takeaway is just we want to see what the offense is going to do. I mean, pretty much because you've got your same defensive coordinator. The, yeah. There's not a lot of turnover on the defensive staff, uh, there, or there wasn't really any turnover on the defensive staff. And while there was some turnover, like position wise at linebacker and then the injury, yeah. so you can see some FCS guys who have stepped yes. up and are ready to play. It's, you're, we don't expect anything drastically different yes. from the defense as far as scheme goes. We just want to see. They, there could play. be some scheme differences, but there. What I'm expecting is different players in positions. So like I don't. Up. So I don't know. In my experience, what Helton's going to do as far as defensive goes. Um, yeah, is he like hands off, kind of like yeah, Brom was, yeah, was, or, or is, is he, he going to be more involved? In I think he needs overall. to be a little more involved this first year. Probably. Yeah. You know, get Clayton, Coach White, where he wants him to. You know, this is you know. Point, 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 this is what I want to happen, and then it happens. Well, because We're offensively, you would think, I mean, it is it is it is two sides of the ball, and the type of defense you play and the type of offense you play, yeah. they have to work together. Well, yeah. So I would imagine that it, the schemes might be like a little different, because if you're a control-the-clock kind of team, Ugh, that yeah. would be a different defense yes. than we want to run, 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 run up yes. tempo, you yes. would think, because yeah, you don't want to keep them on the field for freaking ever well ideally you want your defense to go three and out yeah. offense is the team offense is the side of the ball that you want to stay on the field right so you would you want to control i mean that's kind of what sanford tried to do but it wasn't very effective because either his offense would turn the ball over at very inopportune yeah, times that's true or you know there's other little factors that played into it stupid decisions etc that would happen, whether it was coaching or players, it doesn't matter. It was a cumulative effect. Yes, it was just, yeah, everything just kind of, just it just fuzzled out. Yeah, basically. it did. It fell apart. Yeah, yeah and did. so, let's look for smart football. Yeah, you know, right, off, like you good keep offensive saying, smart plays. football, for love of God. Yes, that's, I mean, that's the biggest takeaway, because there are so many factors last year that you could just go down through there and go, right. that wasn't smart football, that wasn't either. Yeah. And not obvious things, but it's just common sense that, football things. And things that built up. Right. Yes. So it's like okay, you make this one decision that cost you this drive, right? Yes. Okay. Now that sets you back. Let's say it sets you back three points. Okay. Yes. Now you make another stupid decision on defense or a yes. mistake on defense. Okay. Now you're set back this far, and by the time you get to the end of the game, three or four things made you lose by forty points. You know, yes. like something terrible. 
Devin's listening to the helicopters that are gonna. No, no, that's a truck. I thought my dog was growling. I was like, "What is she growling at?" Oh, I thought your dog. Oh, she's was... right behind me. So I, I thought your dog was just doing. farting because that's it what could have been that too. <laughs> um, like if y'all hear a squirrel, <laughs> just start talking. It's not a squirrel. It's it's just <laughs> Devin's ancient dogs. They're not ancient. They're about ten years old. I mean, that's that's, that's elderly for yes, a dog. Yes, yes, they're yes, and they give me looks like elderly women do. Like. Are you kidding me right now? I can't believe. Yes. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Yeah, back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> I was there back in your day. Yes. I brought you it. Uh, yeah. Which, by the way, there's such a great thing I read one day, and it was talking about, okay, this is awful. I don't know all the listeners are going to be so bored, but how people are the elves to dogs in Lord of the Rings. Dude, I freaking love that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because we don't age or change for the most part as much as a dog would go through in their lifetime. And I was like, wow. Oh, there's some really, that is really, there's some really cool like little stories out there about the dog talking about how they've taken care of my family for <laughs> generations. Yes. And now I, as I am getting old, I see him start to get old yeah. and I'll be there for him. Like he was there yeah. for six generations of my family. <laughs> yes. And I was like, yeah, you, you, want, you want to cry? Google that stuff because oh it's so sad. Oh my God, yes it is. Which... Yeah, I'll tell you something later. But yeah, yeah. Um, it's an off fair discussion. But yeah, that's what we got for football. I'm I'm just excited because look, you put put stuff behind you. Yeah, the the sad past is a sad past. Yep. We had our mourning. We had our we had our sadness. As now the, it's as the monkey says in the Lion King, the past is the past. The past is the past. You know, it hurts, but you just gotta move on. Dude, I freaking love Rafiki. Oh, right. yes, Rafiki. I don't know who's do, who's doing Rafiki in the new one. I don't know, but he better be worth it. That's all I got to say. Yeah, it. seriously though, Rafiki was like one of my favorite characters. Well, yeah, <laughs> he's just so because he's, he's a goofy monkey. Well, because he's goofy, but he's also the smartest one in the movie. Yes, so he's the wise leader. He's also comic relief, which I haven't watched the new. I haven't seen the. New I haven't seen the newest seen. trailer because there was like one. There's like one that just came out, like yesterday. I think was the new official trailer, and everybody said it was really good. I haven't seen it. I don't know. Check out uh, Robert. I don't know who that guy is. Or is that the that was the original guy? His name was he was born Robert Peter Williams, and his name is Robert. We can't pronounce Guliami. Guliami. Guliami? I don't know. I don't know. I guess that was that was who name. Rafiki was. I don't know who the new Rafiki he died is. in 2017. Yeah, which is kind of sad. But that anyway. is sad. Rest in peace, Rafiki. Yep. All right, yeah. P. Rafiki. All right, P. Rafiki. <laughs> Excuse me. God, we we have got to quit drinking these diet drinks. But before we start recording, that's true. We both burp like three we, times. Yes, we both been like, <laughs> and we don't have a cough <laughs> button either. We no, can't like mute we this. We just burp. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fine. Uh, he humanizes us, man. Exactly. So as if we needed that. Anymore. I know, right? Speaking of being humanized, yes. So we're gonna do a new off season thing. Yep. So I'll let you talk about it because since you're gonna kind of spearhead it, so I'll let yeah. you deal with it. Yeah. So we're gonna call this Munch Madness, <laughs> which I am ripping off from a place, but that is we totally could fun. actually do Appetizer April. We could do Appetizer <laughs> April in June. Yeah. I don't uh, mean. But no, uh, we just th- we think it'd be fun. Lots of people do this. We thought it'd be funny and some kind of just BS stuff to yeah. get us through the doldrums of summer when it's. Unless you're Ross and a huge baseball fan, the legit worst time to be a sports fan. It is. Because there's really nothing is. going on. Nope. Not really. Nope. Um, love you, baseball, but not really. It's so hard to find baseball games to watch on TV unless you have those far-reaching channels. Or not only that, channel. unless you're... Like, or if you have four hours to watch a baseball in game. In the middle of the day. Don't yeah. tell me you're not an old dude sport when most of your games happen between the hours of like 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Exactly. Like when where retirees are, yes. are watching it. Or yes. you can take a day off. Like, if it's a Saturday game, that's fine. But when other times are you going to watch it? Also, there's too many games. Let's go ahead and say yes. you don't need to play 170, however many games. Yes. No one cares. It, may, it makes your regular season not matter. And it takes forever. And I'm sorry, I don't care. My thing is... Are you a degenerate gambler if you do, like, the daily draft for baseball? No. I will call you... <laughs> not that I do that, because I don't really gamble on sports. Um, but I heard it on a sports channel, sports radio channel, and I was like, dude, you got to be almost degenerate, because they have, like, 170 games, I think so you'll be going it, through this through August. I think if you're, like, every day doing it, yeah. then I think, yeah, sure. But then again, if you're doing any vice, like... Every single day, it's probably bad for you, but <laughs> but I will say that if you're gambling every yes. day, maybe call one of those hotlines they advertise yes. on, on the yes. sports talk. Just just that's why I could just some help. Um, but like if you're like I heard again listening to a sports talk radio show, this guy was like, 
Yeah, uh, intern so and so is absolutely a degenerate gambler. Do you know how I know this? It's like what? Because he doesn't know anything about baseball. But he he heard that one of the sites was going to give him five dollars of free money if he went and bet midday baseball. My so he God. went and bet midday baseball, and they go. And do you know how he's funding this habit? Because that's what the other guy was like. Well, he's in college. Where does he get the money? He's like, dude, that's why he's selling plasma. It's like, wait a minute. Intern What's-His-Face is selling plasma to fund his middle-of-the-day fantasy baseball gambling habit. Oh, my yes. God. Yes, okay. This guy's got a problem. In fact, yes. one of the dudes was like... We need to interview. was like, buddy, look, though. we love you, but you can't work in sports media because you're going to end up bankrupt or yes. killed by a bookie. Yes. Right? You, you Go ahead and finish out your internship oh while you're God. at college, but... We're probably not going to hire you <laughs> because we can't be held responsible for no. keeping you around sports all day, every day. Like, just don't do it. I mean, it. that's almost like insider, though. He's like insider level of gambling. Well, he's like paying can... attention yeah. constantly. Like, oh, yeah. But yeah, awesome. dude, for sure. But no, we're going to do much madness. It's going to be fun. I, I kind of pitched it to some of the uh, Tower Rat guys, like, hey, what are your favorite snacks? What are your kind of things? And then we got like the biggest, like, somebody was saying taquitos. And somebody said, so I'm not going to give you... Some cheese roll-ups from some, Taco Bell. Right, like just the weirdest... So like, yeah, I so mean, what oh, no, no, egg rolls egg with rolls, ta- sweet Thai chili. Yeah, okay. yeah, Jared, that's not a, that's not a snack. Sorry, so, buddy. I mean, you make an argument. Like, I don't care. <laughs> but so I think I was... I've seen that last night. I was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Over the coming weeks, I'm going to put together different brackets for different snack... Or not different, but like different food categories. So I think the first one we want to do is snacks. And we're going to define snacks as, like, you don't cook the thing, and it's, like, prepackaged, right? Um, it's. I thought you found who the new Rafiki was going to be. I did. It's John Canny. Why does he sound familiar? What else is he in? Uh, he is oh, the he's, dad. Oh, he's, he's, he's Black he's Panther's the dad. dad. Yes, he is. Oh, dude, that's going to be That'll awesome. be so amazing. Dude, he'll be good as Rafiki. Yes, I literally just, sorry. Dead juice <laughs> in his I pants. just could not, yeah, uh, I saw that name and I went... No way. Donald Glover is going to be Simba. Which I'm excited about. I don't know how I feel about Seth Rogen as Pumbaa. Yes. I don't know. I am so excited I, about I that. think it'll be fine. I think they'll probably sneak in a weed joke here or there. Who's this guy? Who's that guy? I have no idea. He is Timon, is. and I don't know if I, I like have, that. I have no idea. He doesn't look like a Timon. No. But okay, sorry. Go ahead. But yeah, but so we're going we're gonna to start with snacks, which we're going to define as like pre-packaged, yes. um, kind of like you don't have to do a lot of cooking to make them. It's not yes. something to be like defined as a meal. Yeah. You know, so like egg rolls are not going to be a snack. Jared. No. Sorry, no. bud. Uh, but you could say, um, you could almost, you could say Uncrustables is what could be a snack. In that. An Uncrustable ish could be a snack. I'd even go with like pizza rolls. You know, yeah. something you could do like at a party sort yeah, of. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could do pizza rolls. Um, I'll take the argument because I don't care. I just want, I just want to screw around. Then I think we're also going to do, besides snacks, we're going to do appetizers because okay. we started with snacks and then. The, Really funny. The two skinniest guys just went down a K hole yes. of fassery. Yes, like of I, just just so you know, my metabolism is so jealous of those little guys. Right. I'm just saying that's it. And I mean, I'm a small dude, but I like pack oh, the yeah. like belly on. Yeah. Whereas like these little string bean dudes yes. can just like garbage hole. It's a rah, 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 dude. Rah, rah, I look at greasy eggs and I gain weight. I don't know right, what you're exactly. About. <laughs> which that time of year, cheapsters coming up. Load dude, up, guys. Dude. So we're going to do apps. I think it may be a drinks one. And then we're just going to come other stupid stuff to yeah. talk about because honest to God, there's we're no gonna, sports. Yeah, there's not a lot of... I'll, and after Saturday, there's not going to be any football. You may have some basketball talk next week with Transfers, yeah. NBA well, prospects, maybe, but yeah. yeah. I, well, the only thing really, like sports wise, during the summer that we'll really be able to talk about, because I mean, even college uh, baseball and softball doesn't last well into the summer. It's like yeah. right after school lets out, it's pretty yeah. much over. College World Series is done. So we'll be able to talk, you said draft stuff. We'll be able to, and then other than that, it's going to be recruiting classes, yeah. and it's going to be hypothetical like previews, but the previews aren't going to start till like late summer. Yeah. So there's going to be like the rest of May, like it's not the rest of May. But there's going to be May yeah, and yeah. June, maybe even into July before the preview stuff starts yeah. really picking up. So if y'all got topics for us to talk about, hit us up on Facebook yes. and Twitter because comment on the YouTube because we gonna need some help. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a long summer, and that's fine. We've got enough goofy stuff to talk about. Well, and I can re- we can oh, do. <laughs> and another thing that I want to start doing randomly, I was I was talking to okay. some former Western employees. Okay. Oh, you want to do your... I'm going to start doing some guys that I know. <laughs> okay, okay, Some stories with That'll names redacted. That'll be fun. Of, of some funny, goofy stuff <laughs> they used to get into back in the 90s because you could do whatever you wanted as a, as a facilities person in the 90s. 
Um, That'd be great. Because I was I was, I was talking to Dad. I was like, so what are some cool stories? And he's like, oh, did you tell him about this one? I was like, nope, I totally forgot. that You guys mm-hmm. did that. And he's like, oh, what about that time we lit that on fire? I was like, nope, I forgot about that too. <laughs> what about that time that thing got dropped off that roof? No, I forgot about that too. What yeah. about the squirrels? I didn't talk about the squirrels. So oh, the squirrels. The squirrels gosh. are western. Squirrels are a varmint. They deserve death. The squirrels are. I don't think squirrels are that bad. Um, I named the squirrels at work. So now see, I can't Devin say says this now. Until a group of squirrels gets up under his house and chews all his water lines. Yeah, I mean that's yeah that's that's yeah the, that's that's a varmint case there. They, but they varmints, they deserve death. The only reason I leave them alive is so my cat can look at them out the window. <laughs> yeah, okay. Actually, so I live in I live in town. I, can't I name squirrels, squirrels, so it's all good. Just don't feed them, man. No, I don't. I don't feed yeah, them. Fun little story for you. Sure. It's a Western story, right? Since we're much madness. Let's now, tell. Right? Yeah. One day. Uh, Dad's in one of the office buildings. He's okay. doing maintenance stuff, right? Yeah. And he's, he, you know, your buddies are there by the works in the office building. And I, yeah. I want to say it was either, it was like at Potter or something. Okay. And somebody's working in there. It's in the 90s. And uh, she says, hey, Joe, I'm going on vacation. Can you feed my squirrels? <laughs> and Dad goes, what? Yeah, exactly. And she goes, I like to set nuts out. For the squirrels every day. I open my window, I put some nuts out, and I feed them. And they come at me, it's real cute. And I said, okay, well, fine. Where where, you, where do you leave what you feed them? She said, right here on my desk, it's this little jar. He said, okay, cool. He said, sorry. Right. It's like one of those windows that's like, yeah, kind of sort of ground level-ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like, okay, so he goes in the next day, opens up the window. I'm assuming it's Cherry or somewhere like that. It's somewhere where you've got like a basement level of like some office. I can't remember, for some reason I wanted to say it was Potter. But I, I can't. I can't remember. It could be, but, fun, yeah. but whatever. Okay. Opens up the window. He's like, I grab the like jar of like the nuts that she would feed, right? Jar <laughs> yeah, nuts. Yeah. He's like, I go to open it. It makes like a noise, <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's like an undead army of squirrels <laughs> just coming down out of the trees up to the window. Like trying to maul him, and he's like, so he's like Squirrel Girl. He's from yeah, Marvel. He's, yeah, he's like Squirrel Girl out of Marvel, the only yeah. one to defeat Thanos. Yes, and. Which is I don't even read that. I don't know how canonically that's. I don't know, but whatever. But, great. but yeah, and he's like, so he's like, I just kind of fling it and like shut the window <laughs> real fast because they scared the crap out of me. He's like, I got mauled by squirrels, and he's like, for the rest of the week, he's like, I didn't feed squirrels. And he's like, I was too scared. I wasn't gonna do it. And he said, I told her when she got back, you should not be doing that. You're gonna get rabies or something. That's great because they're not like friendly squirrels. They're like, feed me now, you yes. crazy man. Squirrels. Yes. He's like, maybe they just didn't like me because I was different. But that is hilarious. Yeah, feed the squirrels. So. What did you learn tonight, Red Out listeners? Do not feed the wildlife. Yes, don't feed squirrels. Don't feed the squirrels. Actually, western squirrels are probably more violent because they're such a smaller population and they're all inbred. So, but Which only... is why our squirrels turn white. It's because That's the true. genetic we population have, We have a lot of the albino squirrels. Which is hilarious. Which, when you always see that online, like, have you guys ever seen a white squirrel? It'll always come out, like, literally nope. every day of my life. Nope. Never seen a white squirrel. Have you? Yeah, I have. I'm yes. Kidding. For a second, he, before he winked at me, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. How do you, I mean, how do you I don't see Western how you go to Western and not see a white squirrel. Which, by the way, if you see an albino deer in the wild, you're told to shoot on sight. I don't know if you knew that or not. I did not know that. But the, because of the... Uh, genetics. They don't want them to pass on that. No, they don't want to pass on. Well, they don't want them to pass on the albino gene, which is complete baloney. It makes hunting that much easier. That's <laughs> true. Right? You literally will be sitting outside, and you're like, the "Hey, white. there goes a white deer. Wow, I wonder if I could shoot it from here." Yeah, you could. Or you think they'll sneak up on you, the white deer? I mean, you could see the white. I mean, it, and just imagine if the entire population went to albino. You could see them from anywhere. I mean, it might be good for people driving at night, so... Yeah, right, so they don't see it as fast. <laughs> exactly. But... The, 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 I, luckily enough, I've never actually had a deer... I've had some deer run out in front of me, I've but I've never deer. had super-duper close calls. I've hit a deer. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, yeah, because you got to drive home tonight. Um... That's true, <laughs> and there is some little deer runs. Now, this is what kills me. This is what kills me. Um, I was going home from my grandparents one day... And literally, there's a cow pasture on one side of the field, and there's a hay field on the other. So a deer costs. runs over, jumps over the fence, and looks at me. And I'm like, don't do it. <laughs> Here he comes. He comes across, like literally right in front of me. I lock it up, and I caught his back hip on my front driver's side corner. 
of course, it was my old pickup truck. So it, say, it yeah, that's why. Me. Yeah, that's why it looks like that. They made it out of metal, except for the important key parts, which were all plastic, which was so annoying. I love that nineties. Yeah, my my nineties. Uh, 97 Chevy pickup had like the droopy eye. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So it had a stroke. It's fine. Yeah, it still it functions. It just talks. I took now. screws and got it fixed, but See, yeah, that thing ran forever. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, I had, I had almost 300. I think over 300 thousand miles on it when it finally. Died. Pretty good. Loved it, but uh, anyway, so we'll uh, we'll holler at y'all next week. We'll hear some, uh, maybe some bassy news, maybe not. Dude, if he stays I, and we're available, I think we should record oh, yeah. a reaction. To yeah, his. which will be Friday? That's true. We should know That'll by Friday. That'll be Friday. Friday. Um, so, yeah, I ain't got nothing, so. I guess, yeah, I mean, at least, what is there a time? Li- is there a... I don't know what time on the 12th. I, okay. I don't know if it's like 4 p.m. You would think it would be early afternoon. Yeah. Um, maybe they do midnight to like make it a last minute thing. Yeah. I do not know. Which worst case, we could do a Saturday morning reaction thing. If yeah, he's that's still that, there. yeah. If he if he says it at eleven fifty nine, we're yeah. not recording at midnight. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we'll be in bed. Yeah, because it takes old. me too long to do the production sometimes. So, <laughs> yeah, no. but yeah, that's it's going to be fun. We'll, yes, we'll, we will make this summer fun, even yes. if it's complete stupidity. Yes, which will be mostly stupidity. It will be mostly and stupidity. And facts are optional as always. Always, yeah. And Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, all your stuff I needs right here for you That's all. right. <laughs> so, uh, we'll holler at y'all next week, but as always, go Tops. Go Tops. Go Tops.